everybody! Welcome to the Vicky Bello Vlog! Yay! Okay. As usual, walang kaplano-plano po to. We were just sitting down having lunch. And then I said, hey guys, can you help me? I need to have a vlog. Wala na akong bangko. And they said, yes, because they're wonderful people. And they're very kind. And they're also supporting me all the time. But more important than that, these two people have been... It's a love team, but not in the usual way. They've been friends for a really, really long time. And I love their friendship. This is the kind of group you need to find. That they're also supportive of each other. They're always so happy when somebody succeeds. That's why they're all succeeding so well. Please welcome the It Girl and the It Boy, <laughs> Saleh Yusuf and Mon Gutierrez. Yay! Yeah! Thanks, guys. Such huh? a good introduction I for something know. that's not planned. Like, this... pa planned to. Tapos, if you crop the video here, halata halata, <laughs> we're not planned. But you're so beautiful. Alam mo, bahay ko to. So, madaya ako. Kasi, look, I'm 66. You're how old? I'm 38 this And you week. are? 39. You're 38 this week? Karan? Aquarian ka ba Or ano, yeah, Pisces ka na? 85. I'm one. Oh my I'm gosh. I'm cancer. I'm cancer. July. I have to a say, cancer. Vix, for, for, you're like a, a professional TV host at this point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sa <laughs> katagalan. <laughs> no, no I, I, you know, I don't know how to be a host. I don't know what I am because I'm a doctor trying to have a YouTube, <laughs> which I started during the pandemic. And then I got 1 million subscribers. Thanks, yeah. guys. Oh my gosh. And then I didn't want to give it out. Sorry naman. And I I want so them natural. to know me. Yeah, so oh, okay. Yeah. See? So you you. Can I be admitted as an honorary <laughs> member of the It Girls and Boy? Are you the only boy in this yes. group? I, I mean, yeah, yeah, technically, yeah. You know, it's so funny because when we started hanging out, mm. it was never the intention of like, let's brand ourselves, let's all go out together and like, you know, start this group for like clout or for fame. Yeah. And I think a lot of, you know, influencers now kind of use their platforms and hang out together to kind of like benefit off of each other. Mm -hmm. And I think our friendship was never like that. It was never intended to be so we can use each other's fame or platform. Exactly. We just genuinely liked each, each other. Uh, so yeah. make me quanto how the two of you met. So I don't even know how where we met. We met because we had a lot of common friends. And at mm. that time in Manila, I think this was predate social media. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we just kind of hit it off. Right? Yeah, actually also because, I don't know if you remember, but so I love I love drinking. <laughs> Mon used to love drinking, and he would be the only friend of of the group would that would be game. game to like have a glass of wine at any time of the day, yeah. at any time of the week. It's, so the, it's time, the French in her and the wannabe French in me. <laughs> yeah, so I want a cocktail. I want a glass of wine. So we'd go to M Cafe back then. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then so we would just, just sit. We would hang out all day, get to get to know each other, and we just really bonded. And then I know that Solen was a talented, so many talents with this girl, but... I know, too many. God is not fair. I knew, <laughs> I knew she was doing makeup at the time. Oh. And so I'd you know what, For I, I do my shows, I do my endorsements, and at the time she was doing a bit of modeling, but parang she wanted makeup to be also one my of her main. My, her main thing. So I started asking her, I'm like, Sauce, you know, why don't you do my makeup for my shows and, and let's see how it turns out for you, maybe we can suggest you for ads in the future, things like that. So she just started coming with me to GMA, like to, to my hosting gigs and doing my makeup. And obviously when she walks in the room, everyone's like, who's that girl? <laughs> Is that one's makeup artist? Parang balik tad, eh. You look like a star when you yeah. walk in. I was oh. doing his makeup for Showbiz Central. Yeah, and for, and then, for, yeah, for the Sunday shows. For the su Yeah, Sunday yeah. shows. And then after doing Mon's makeup for a long time, he suggested me to his sister. Mm. So I started doing Rufa's makeup for yeah. a while. And then I did I did Chard's makeup pa for a teleserie. Yes. Mm. Like, teleserie. Oh, teka, okay, so everybody wants to know, may nangyari ba with you and Chard? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wala talaga. Kasi naririnig ko may parang, was it the beginning of Actually, and then no trying. cannot be? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they were trying. Yeah. You know, love no, you had, super, a, you had so, a hit movie and you guys were doing shows together. Yeah, yeah, we were doing shows, and of course, I came out of Survivor. So, and, don't try to discover. I said, like, she was starting to do makeup and she really wanted to, like, hone that talent and really make something of herself in that in that lane. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that, you know, Solène is built to be the star, she's not built <laughs> to be behind the scenes. <laughs> So it was like a natural progression. Oh. Yeah, she became a star and you know, they were doing Survivor at the time. Yeah, but the Gutierrez family really is the one who... It's because of you guys. Yeah, well, I, oh, I honestly guys. pushed her. I was like, forced her. I'm like, yeah. Sauce, they're looking for, for a Survivor. How old were you then? Mga 20, 21? I was 26. Yeah, mga 20, mid-20s. Yeah. Oh. And then they were looking to cast the new Survivor. And I was like, Sauce, you're so walang arte. You're so game. You're so like... And I know her. She's the type na who can really do this show and really win, you know? So if you see past footage of Solen and Survivor, as in I'm like, 
Wow, like so, sobrang idol because. Like, what are the craziest things yeah. you did in Survivor? It was a lot of uh, long lasting challenges. So, I, that's where I really did well in. It's just like when you stand for hours, like 10 hours. Oh on a pole. Ah, on a pole. Or you like, do I, that? I ate, I ate um, worms, scorpions, oh spiders. And what? This is normal in your life? No. Parang wala lang eh, di ba? No, but you give her a challenge, she'll do it. I know, yeah, you know. Yeah. I said, what are we gonna talk about in this vlog? And she said, I know, well, let's challenge each other. And they are there. I wanted to Na, dare. Na po si, si Mon, so hindi ko na lang tinuloy. Baka kasama din ako, so it won't be, it won't be yeah, a good so idea. I, I was so proud of her, and that's how she really started her career. And from there, mm. she became a star after Survivor. Do you, are you the type to plan your future? What no, am I'm I gonna very, be? Of course, I plan like, certain things like financial planning <laughs> you need to when you're, or investment <laughs> Oy, not pa yan sa ano mo, ha? IG. Not so it's not just a, a commercial it's actually but, you talaga. yeah but I really just I really am the type to just go with the flow like I, I like to plan things but I don't overthink things uh, actually if you watched Survivor before there was a challenge where you had it's like lie detector test mm -hmm. and then they asked me did you join Survivor to become famous to enter showbiz Tutu bang sumali ka sa Survivor Philippines para magkaroon ka ng career sa showbiz? And I said no because yeah. I just went because Mon told me I should join and that was it <laughs> No Parehong lie ang sagot ninyo But then it, it came out as a lie and I was like I'll prove it to you guys I'll oh prove God. it to you after the show It came out as a lie when I, when I get out of the show I won't be in showbiz. Hala, oh patay! Oh, pang kano naman? Not, Did you bet just, with anyone? Just because when I came out, I got offers. So I'm like, you know, I never intended to. Oh, oh teka, meron na kong isang oh, friend rin. Yeah. That said, she hates showbiz. She was, she was laughing at me because I was in showbiz. We will hide it under the name, starts with the letter D E R E K. Kayo na lang ba? <laughs> because well, he, he said when he too. started, you would yeah. make, you would say, ay nako Derek, why are you doing that, right? Because it was long hours. I remember when he went on a set before and it was just long hours. And I said, why would you do that? And then me. So, of course, showbiz now, there are things you love about it and there are things you also don't like about it. Like in any, in any mm. other job. It's a love hate relationship. But it's not that glam, I have to no, say. Not you, glam. you're glam because you're a host. <laughs> but yeah. yung, alam nyo, I also try to be showbiz because I was I'm very curious. Yeah. So I, you know, I guess I should make a show like a day as a sales girl yeah. or a day. So one day, Regine Velasquez asked me. She's so sweet, talaga. She put me in her soap. Yeah. So she was ugly as usual, pangit in the beginning, and then I'm the fairy godmother who makes her beautiful. Yeah, so I was in the whole show almost, and I was taping. Grabe, tindi, it's the hardest. Thing, guys, That's it's not I, easy I money. Never, I, I salute ako sa mga artista because as a host, usually in and out, you do it yeah. live and then, and then you you're out. Yeah. Oh. But but you know, for them, Acting it's like such a different, different thing. But ako, what I admire most about Sauce is that you know all of us, we love shopping, we love uh, designer <laughs> stuff. With Sauce, consistently, she just keeps to her own style. She's not. She's May not. Style pa ba? Ako no, but <laughs> you're not pressured by trends. She's uh -huh. not pressured by brands. She's the type that. Sino mo ba ko sa yo, girl? Because I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a brand, so I figure everybody else. You hindi ka pala, you don't like brands. But she's so good I, with that. I like it. I just don't like to spend for it, I guess. Yeah. But if it's, I mean, I, I don't really look at the brand before I buy something. It's like, I like it she's or I don't, style, and then whatever, yeah, yeah happens. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I, I guess because Solange go, looks <laughs> best naked. <laughs> well, <laughs> Less clothes she has! Not moment, guys, okay? I know we went from my Bello billboard to, to mom, mom bod ulit, but <laughs> I'll be back. Talaga, oi, si Georgina nag back na after three children. Ikaw, dalawa lang. Anyway, Mon, going back to you. Yeah. So this Mon, um, I've known him for like, what, 15 years, I think. And there's one thing about Mon that's very, very special that I don't think people know. But he's a Pied Piper. Alam mo yung Pied Piper? Pag nagtutugtug ng, ano, ng music, ng flute, everybody follows him. And I've seen it happen. He's like Mr. Cool. So when he enters, Cool is back. Diba? <laughs> Do you know, are you conscious of this? That people just tend to follow you, you set the trends. You know, you, when diba? I was younger, somebody had said that about me. They're like, oh, you're kind of like the gateway every time you... Yeah. And you know, I never use that to, you know, I, I don't want to put that in my head. You know what I mean? I always still want to do my best in everything mm -hmm. that I do. And yeah, just joining your company. I think it was just like natural that I wanted to put all my best ideas, all my best. We're effort. so grateful, Mon, by and the way. And then everyone kind of just like, oh, now we want to do that too. You know what I mean? So I think it's more of just like a natural thing. If people have 
their eyes on me. I just want to do my best. Mm, but so it you also don't, takes yeah. a lot of research. Like the, what do you call it? Pie Piper? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> to be a Pie Piper, you have to be super intelligent because you have to research, you have to yeah. attend all these exhibits, mm-hmm. events, meet so many people so that you know what's, what's, what's on trend yeah, or what's yeah. up and coming. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing that Mon is really gifted I'm with. like a sponge. You know, every time yeah. I travel, every time I go to a museum or a party, I kind of take the best parts of it mm-hmm. and I'm like, how do I apply that in my next So project? it's a conscious thing because I know I do that but unconsciously and then it just comes out, oh, yeah. Yeah. Pala. I mean, I take note of it but at the same time, it's my interest so mm. it's not forced, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. I just love like researching, I love fashion, I love art, I love you know, traveling. So The true it's... renaissance man <laughs> who is now in love. Okay, so then you ask <laughs> yeah. him questions. <laughs> Go. So wait, this is your first love then. <laughs> Um, your first real love. I, I can't say that. He was the one. <laughs> Wait, did you know about other loves before? No, Mon actually was... No. Did he come out to you that he was gay? Oh, uh, we all knew. <laughs> you knew but he did not come out because George is very hurt. He, he no, didn't come out, out to her after, first. But I, I came out first to my new friends. Oh, oh, Finally, he came out and all of us were like... In okay. the group chat, parang crickets. Okay, what, what, ano ba, Mon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then... No, so, I mean, this is the first relationship that I think I've shared with the world. And mm-hmm. I think that's what's important about this one, is that it's a, it's really a new chapter for me because it's the first time that I'm willingly open, I mean, sharing it to the public and being open about it and being proud of it. And, you know, there's such a sense of freedom that I can now post videos, I can now post photos, whereas before I was so afraid of doing that, you know? Yeah. and. And you were afraid of what? Just afraid of, you know, being gay before. Like, 10 Five years ago, society yeah. wasn't so open. 10 years ago lang yun, eh? Yeah, it oh. wasn't so open. It wasn't, it wasn't so supportive. Mm-hmm. Especially in the local show business industry. Like, everybody would tell me, you can't be gay. It's gonna affect your endorsements. It's gonna affect your work. You know, for the first time, I'm able to be proud of my relationship. Um, and be open about it to my yeah. followers, to my f- friends, family, um, to my family. Yeah. So, you know, I'm very happy and I'm very content. And I think people can see that. You know, I do, see I see that. it. It took a while, but I'm, I'm grateful that I have the support system that I do have because I think that's also very important if you surround yourself with the right people. And I think that's why a lot of people are scared to come out because they think that they don't have the right support system. Right? Are you surprised that everybody supported you? You know, honestly, in the beginning, I was kind of like, I didn't realize it was going to be like this. And everyone yeah. was like, oh my God, yeah, you know, everyone was cheering. <laughs> it's <me."> about time, <laughs> Whereas, you know, you, you you have this thing in your head that you build up na, oh my God, baka after this, wala na akong friends or wala na. Yeah. Everyone's going to turn their backs. Actually, no. People supported me even more after. And celebrate you. Yeah, so to all the people that are, you know, still not comfy or still not sharing it with their friends and family, you know, take your time, but I assure you that you will find your group, you will find your support system. So it's so much more fun and so much more freedom to come out on the other side. Because real friends love you no matter yeah. what. The diba? right people will stay in the wrong yeah. ones. Go, the goodbye, good riddance to you. Yeah. This is a good way to find out. Because exactly. how do you know who your real friends are? I found that out during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> because? Oh, no, it's more like all the ones that you wanted to talk to, the ones you wanted to get in touch. Because I have. I have many friends, acquaintance and close friends and just like people that are nice in general that mm-hmm. when you meet up you like to talk to them but during the pandemic I think you really discovered who the people are that you really want to talk to the ones you reach out to the ones that reach out to you mm-hmm. and it's a very small group I of, think as we yeah, get older we get a little system. more selective diva. Also, Yeah and I think we're also blessed with our group like I think the challenges that we all went through together as a group in those times in our 20s you know trying to figure out our careers, figuring out our relationships, figuring out, you know, fame and all that stuff. I think we had each other to lean on. So I think that holds value also in terms of, you know, the longevity of our friendship. Like we've all known each other for more than 10 years, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's hard to find that kind of real friendship in an industry like this. That's true. Yeah, so you guys, yeah. do you talk to each other? Because you're all in different countries. George and Bella are in mm-hmm. Hong Kong, right? And we, have we, a, have so group we have a group chat. Ah, yeah. so okay. So it's just like random. I mean, it's not every day, but yeah. it's just daily things. And it's not even always about like, you know, 
follow you up on each other. Like how are you? It's just it's random, just random stories or photos. Yeah. Like it's it's very. Yeah. Was fun. there ever a big away? Oh yeah, Marites in the group that you had. I know. Met before that in Meron. When we were younger, it was like very in, like pathetic yeah, drama. Little things. Yeah. Little things. <laughs> Who's gonna be in the middle of the billboard? Ay, sino kaya yon? Bello billboard yon. Sige mo an. Who do you think it was? You were gonna say things like, I remember we did a billboard for what was it? I think for a phone company. Yes. I remember, and it was like so. It's so dumb now that you think back, and we're like. I can't believe we actually like argued about I think it's more... who's gonna be in the middle, who's gonna be like. <laughs> this one never argues. I have to tell you, this is the most walang tao I've ever. <laughs> oh, and you know, like when we traveled with her, so I think, oh my god, tama because man was telling me that Solan sauce is really low so maintenance, chill, yeah. so chill. But wow, levels as in I can't. Im- You're so low. <laughs> Kulang you. sa drama arte. I can't. I can't deal with drama because I can't deal with confrontation. I'm really in. But you didn't get mad at me because there was one time no. in our in <laughs> our mad. trip. Because I'm I'm one of these people that likes to plan that I'll go somewhere, but actually when it's near the time na I cancel. Actually, I was super jet like that. Day. Yeah, so and so, so she, she I you were yeah, so yeah. you know like I'll dress up and then I'll say I ayoko na. We were supposed to meet at six and Solen's always early, so ten to six. She was there now and so I, go, I, I don't want to go anymore. I'm tired, so I call her. Solen, don't come here now. I'm downstairs. I've been waiting for you. I said and she was all made up, pretty, because we're going to the I think Fendi. Fendi I don't know cocktail. Fendi or Gucci cocktail, yeah. whatever. I said, Solan, do you mind if we don't go now? Cause I'm tired. And so I've been yeah, sure, no problem. Then I I said, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I said, I wonder she'll hate me forever, cause the ban and makeup, nag effort na tapos. So and hindi naman. naman. And I went to buy my pottery. Walang walang issue, walang drama. Like she's the most chill. She's like. Yeah. Keeps the balance. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, kayo ang ano? Why, <laughs> are you the peacemakers? <laughs> Tell them about your wedding before we end. So, itong dalawa, you weren't there. So, I ito. There. I know. I'm so sad. I mean, Sorry. I'm not. I didn't Why get weren't mad you at him there? Because he had work. He had yeah, work. It was it was one of the biggest projects ever, and yeah. then it was the same weekend. So, so hindi talaga wedding. kaya. Yeah. But you regret that because my no. wedding was so now much I fun. I regret it after seeing all the photos. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, but this girl Rao, can you imagine was, how chill she is? She got drunk the night before her wedding. Si ba tayo on wedding? We're gonna sleep early, look fresh. Hindi po. George had to pull me out of the forest because if I would have slept there. And then pa she was removing my hair extensions and the bed and my eyelashes. And she's like, so then we were dying of laughter because her and a friend, because this is not very girly, but her and another friend, Alexa, they were both removing all my stuff. And I was like, Drunk on the bed like that, and then she said, "I let out the loud, loudest part." <laughs> See, I told you, Alasha. She was like, "What the? Salan, I hate you." <laughs> Mabango <laughs> naman. Uh, it smells like roses. See, I'm telling everybody, no matter how beautiful they are, they fart also. So don't be intimidated. <laughs> but yeah, the two days was two days of drunkness, and, and I, I super enjoyed. Like I said, my wedding didn't have. A host. It didn't have. Sorry, mm. Nicole. But it also, was Nicole most, was. Yeah, it was not traditional. Yeah, not it was traditional. not traditional. I didn't really have a decoration. We just got flowers and put them in beer bottles, <laughs> and then just it was just good. Really good people. But you know, I think that's good more memorable then, in a way. Diba? Kasi personal touch. Your yeah. friends were your florists. So your daughters, are, they gonna, are you going to bring them up to be mm. like you? I want them to be really chill and everything. But the way it starts, like with my youngest one right now, I feel like her personality is. Really? The new baby? Oh my gosh. No, no, Kilan. Oh, the baby has no personality yet. I know, she's like, I was like, wait, what? Tulog! Yeah. And she's there, pero hindi para namin Wala papakita, pa. pero very maganda. Yeah. Super. So yeah, Kilan has a very strong personality, and already now she's giving me attitude, so I'm a bit scared. I can tell that she has so much personality, like, just visiting her and then seeing her on, on, on your videos yeah. and stuff. She has so, I'm like, does she get that from Nico or from you? Not because Nico's also very chill, but Nico's very. But Nico can be hyper. Yeah, he can be hyper. Yeah. <laughs> like if we we're going to the park and someone wanted a photo with me, so she was walking with with the dad ahead, and then she looks back and she goes, "No photos, no photos." <laughs> 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 so like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I swear she's really nice. <laughs> she's really nice. And well, that's strong will. At least, you know, I have yeah. to teach Carlet already. Say no. Run away. Mm-hmm. If somebody's trying to... Because uh, imagine sometimes the boys at this age, they silang pala show us your pet. No. Oh my God. Yeah. So because Carlet, run! Oh, no. How many languages are they learning? Dili three. She's fluent in three. Mm. English, Spanish, French. 
Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Na, you should learn so, Spanish with her. Tagalog that. And Tagalog may mga words. <laughs> oh anyway, <laughs> he has a meeting, so yes. I just want, of course, I want people to cry. So you have to make them cry. So give a message to Mon, and then you give a message to <laughs> Salen. Paya ka para naman magtrain yung aking video. Actually, you know what? The one thing about me, and I'm sure Mon knows, in my in in the group, I'm the one that's. Since I'm so chill, I'm also the one that's very quiet. Like every time we have dinners, I'm there that, that I'm always just listening because I super I don't know what I can't. When there's a lot of people, I don't like to, to yeah. catch up. You and like I'm to always, observe. I like to yeah. observe. I'm very quiet and everything. I don't know. I'm not the type to make someone cry, but of course, Mon and I we've been we've been friends for. Oh, you look into his eyes, Gina. <laughs> 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 I can buy you flowers. <laughs> no, of course. Thank you for the friendship, for these whole years, for always being there. <laughs> no, for always being there for me. I mean, I've been through so many ups and downs, and I think the first five years, you know, yeah. you know, those those times, uh, you were always there to like lift me up and always give me all the encouragement in in life, and then. With, with just my career, actually, I owe you 30% of everything I own right now. <laughs> oh, you have a new a source no. of income. Now that we were, you were talking about it a while ago, and you really made me look back, and you really, you really were the one who kind of started it, or who started the whole thing. Well, Mon so is always, you, my, you always know when Mon I comes in. I owe you in. my career, and I owe you my, <laughs> the kind of life I'm living right now. Aww. It's okay, just buy me a house. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, na, I'll work a little bit. I'm dito eh. Yeah, Mon, you're so, you're so generous. Oh, yes. I want to I wanna also thank her for the trust because every time I have a new idea or have a new thing, I always I always have her as top of mind. Na, uh, I'm like, so you want to do this? Do this yeah. with me or do this with me. And she always puts her faith and trust in me and all the new projects that I do. Mm. You know, like the, in the, even from the beginning, I'm like, you should do Survivor. Like, usually people would be like, no, like, are you crazy? But she's like, yeah. okay, if Mon thinks it's a good idea, then it should be a good idea. So she's really one of the people who supported my crazy ideas from before, even from brands that I offered to you and that we've worked together in so mm -hmm. many things. So she's really the one that really supports me all the way. Yeah. And in that support, you have to tell him, relationships have to be watered regularly. Yeah. Okay, That's... so please don't yeah, stay away all, so long. Give me all the relationship <laughs> advice. Oh, okay, because the first time. So he's, he's been, you know, all the opportunities, just so many projects for Mon in the Philippines. They say in your last day of your life, you don't ever stay there and go, I should have done this project or that, earn more money in this one. But you always look back at the people you love and how much time you spent with them and how much you told them that you love them. So I know I have no problem with sauce, but for more, I imagine that it's a new So let's go because from what I heard, from what I, I, I just know him vicariously. But then you've really got a winner, a keeper in yeah. your hands. So yeah. please take care of the relationship. And on that note, bye, Babu, everyone. Bye. Don't forget. To, you like, subscribe, <laughs> follow, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and the Share. link is right here. Okay, bye. <laughs>